hello there from Empress Pumpkin herself and I. <laughs> maybe she'll stick around for the whole video or maybe she'll decide that we are not worthy. Hi, it's nice to see you all. I want to talk a little bit about what's going on with me. There's been a lot of questions about my health and my hands recently, so I wanted to talk to you about that and about the future of the channel. What's going to be happening here? What could you expect to see? What games I'm playing? And what kind of content to expect? I also want to talk a little bit about the content that you already see here on YouTube. I want to talk a little bit about particularly Skyrim and Elite Dangerous because I get a lot of questions about those. Generally, what I want to do is answer as many of your questions as I can, give you an update and let you know what to expect in the future. Maybe the best place to start here is with health. You might have seen my recent videos about Subnautica and about playing that with my feet and if you have you'll have a little bit of context on what's happening with my hands. Now in a lot of my videos you will hear me talk about my hands, about having to limit gameplay time or referencing them in some way. I get a lot of questions in the comments about that and I realise that I've never given you a full update on what's going on because I kind of know what's going on now. Many of you who come and hang out on Twitch will have seen these updates unfold, but effectively the TLDR here is that I was diagnosed with a condition called ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is a form of inflammatory arthritis. It's generally characterized by issues with the back, particularly the lower back, and potentially the eventual fusing together of bones. One of the other symptoms of that is significant inflammation between the connective points between my muscles and bones. This is something that I experience as a primary thing. I have the thing with my back as well, but the primary thing that I deal with is this painful inflammation. That affects my hands and my elbows, which both interfere with my ability to press buttons, hold things with my hands reliably, and do things like use a traditional controller. This has been something with hindsight that's been going on for a few years, but got especially worse about six months ago. And I finally got a diagnosis three, four months ago and started playing with an adaptive controller. The controller that I use is an Xbox adaptive controller, which has ports for switches in. Effectively, what that means is that users can really adjust the controller based on their own specific needs. So I have thumbsticks and buttons and levers and all sorts that I can plug into the extension ports and create my own custom layout. This means that depending on where I'm struggling with the inflammation, I can use other parts of my body to play games. So for example, for a while I played Subnautica with both my feet. Recently I've been playing games with my left hand and my left foot because my right hand and my right knee have been particularly bad, but effectively it allows me to kind of move things around and play games. I want to give a special shout out here to the amazing UK based charity Special Effect. You may have also seen a recent video that summed up a particularly bonkers charity stream that we did where we raised over £20,000 for special effect, which is an incredible sum of money and will help them do so much more. They are the people who gave me advice and lent me equipment to be able to figure out what was best for me. So thank you so much, Special Effect. All the links to Special Effect are down in the description and it would mean the world to me if you go and check them out and see what their work is about because they really do make gaming accessible to everybody and I love them with my whole heart and my whole butt. You having a snooze, darling? The other thing that I have recently been able to do is to use the Switch. Now, the Nintendo Switch is really tricky with accessibility because it has very limited support with the Xbox adaptive controller and many games just effectively say, no, we can't do that. However, there are specific games that utilize a one-handed mode, so I can use one Joy-Con to play it, and that's awesome. So I have been getting into Switch games as well with the ability to use one Joy-Con on the days where I have one hand, which is cooperating. Maybe that's the best way to say it. One of the things that I really want to do for this channel is upload loads of past content for you guys. Now, 
I have a whole backlog of some games that I have just loved playing through and these are games from the last nearly three years now that I've been creating content. Most of them have been playthroughs that I originally did on Twitch that I would love to release here. What I'm trying to say is that there's a bit of a heads up here that you might see videos coming out where I'm using a more traditional control scheme. I will always specify in the description and in the pinned comment about which control scheme I'm using just to clarify this so there's no confusion about it but I would really like to share those things with you because actually a lot of the content that I have in this backlog is stuff that you guys are suggesting that I play in YouTube comments and I'd really like to share that with you. So if you see future videos where I'm not using an adaptive controller it may well be past content but as I say we'll always make that clear in the description. So that brings me nicely on to what's happening here and what are you going to see on the channel? Well that's a very good question and firstly I'd just like to thank everybody who's given game suggestions because they warm my heart and you guys know me so well so thank you so much for suggesting all of your favorite games. If you would like to suggest more games please bear in mind that they must be controller compatible or if they're a Switch game that they must have a one-handed support. Please drop me a comment I would love to hear from from you. So many of you have come in specifically through Elite Dangerous and Skyrim and many of you are asking me if and when I'm going to play these games again. The short answer is yes I will be playing these games again. The long answer is yes but I don't know when. Effectively with both of these games while they are two of my very favorite games in the whole entire world the truth is I am pretty burnt out on both of them. Now, I've been taking a break from them, knowing that if I go back to them while I'm burnt out, I just won't enjoy them. And not only will that be something that I don't enjoy for myself, I don't have a very good poker face. And I know that that lack of enjoyment will come out to you guys and won't make very good content. So I'm holding off on playing both of those games until I really, really want to again, and then push all of that excitement into playing them again and sharing that experience with you. So yes, I will be playing them again, just don't know when. Another really common comment about something that you guys enjoy is the fact that I play games that I know nothing about. <laughs> I go into games and I do a completely no hints, no spoilers, no help playthrough most of the time anyway. And firstly, for those of you who are commenting about shouting at the screen, I have to tell you it is a very valid tactic and I thoroughly encourage it. I know that at times it can be frustrating, but I also know that that frustration can be entertaining based on what you guys have told me. And that's something that you will absolutely see more of too. I did previously mention about uploading our kind of yes archive is the right word for it backlog archive of previous playthroughs they include open world things they include story-based games they include indie games and they include a truckload of space stuff there will be a mix of playlists of longer full playthroughs and also shorter clips as I guess a kind of taster into things that I've been doing and if you do see one of those shorter clips of a game and you'd like to see the full playthrough then tell me in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. One of the things that I would like to do is just check in with you more often, talk to you, update you, tell you about the games that I'm playing, talk about new releases and answer some more of your questions. So if there is something you'd like to ask or if there is a particular thing that you would like me to talk about then please drop it in the comments comments below. You never know, I might just make a video about it. So in short, yes, I'm still here. Thank you for your kind comments asking how I am. It's been certainly a tricky year for many of us in this crazy context of the last year and this year and our pandemic and all of those things and I sincerely hope that you are all well as are your loved ones. Adapting to new ways to do everyday tasks and to play games has certainly been a tricky learning curve that's been pretty up and down so thank you for bearing with me. What you can expect is some more gingery nonsense experiencing games with a fresh enthusiastic point of view and honestly just a lot more communication with you guys in general. Thank you so much for sticking around. I never expected this many of you to be here and it's so wonderful that you are. If you would like to support the channel and help this nonsense continue then there are a few ways to do so via Ko-Fi where you can support the channel through the medium of 
of coffee not only supports my coffee addiction but also generally just helps finance the channel and make it possible for me to keep making videos a massive thank you to those of you who have supported through ko-fi since i introduced it a few months ago if you are someone who would like to do that then there is a link in the description so until next time i will sign off for now and say i hope you are all well in this crazy world that we live in and if you would like to hang out in the meantime, you can catch me on social media or you can come and catch me live on Twitch. It would be awesome to see you there. Thank you so much, guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye. Can you say bye, pumpkin? She doesn't care. <laughs>